Okay, go ahead. Ready? Yeah. Get you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at this thing like, what the heck? Yeah, I know. <laughs> straight over this way and I'll test the bumper. That's, that's okay, run it straight at me. Let's see. let's test the safety bumper. <laughs> Works. I'd like to show you a little bit more about some of the details of how I made this wheelchair robot. First of all, just quickly looking at the uh, switches. These are just standard switches. This receptacle is obviously not being used like a household receptacle. I just use it as a convenient type of connector since it's never going to be used on 120. Uh, these are just standard switches. Uh, I believe these, if I remember right, were dual pole and these were single, I believe. It's been a while since I made this, but basically what I'm trying to point out is you can use standard household switches available from the hardware stores, building supplies, and, uh, and make this control system. My intent is to eventually replace these switches with relays and a wireless system and uh, control it remotely wirelessly. Not there yet, but uh, eventually we'll get there. Now as for the robot itself, what I did was I found a couple of um, electric wheelchairs from a uh, used uh, wheelchair place that sold parts and so forth. And they sold them to me as long as I agreed not to use them for, you know, moving people. And uh, what I did was each wheelchair had a motor. If you can see it here. Might be a little hard to see in there. And these were, here's one. There's another one there. And there's one there. Whoops. You can see it over here. One there. One over here. Okay, so there's four motors, so it's four-wheel drive. Actually, all-wheel drive, if you will. And um, what I did is I took the frame of one of the wheelchairs and modified it and added the other motors to the same frame. And that's how I got four of them on here. And uh, these motors, um, again, it's been a while since I did this, but they had a built-in break of sorts in somewhere in the this uh, gear reducer assembly I don't remember exactly where it was but it was in there I had to basically disable that and take those brakes out I didn't really need them with this because the way this thing is made if you take the uh, battery voltage off it stops instantly and uh, there's no freewheeling with this design for safety I made this there's Uncle Bubba Franklin over there. For safety, I made this uh, bumper switch here, if you can see it, the way it works. If you look carefully here, I've got a toggle switch right there, and i got one on the other side. And I made this switch assembly spring-loaded, so if you, if you run into something, hit it, see it throws a, shuts the toggle switch off and stops it. You really need, if you're going to build one of these, you really need to do that because this thing has enough power and mass behind it. It can, it could mess up a pet or a small child very easily.
and we certainly don't want to do that. These batteries are deep cycle batteries. You got to use a deep cycle battery and this you don't want to use an automobile starting battery. These will give you a longer life. You can discharge them to a lower level. Probably the most convenient way I could have done this and at very low cost the scrap wheelchairs cost me, I don't even remember what they cost, it's been a long bit, with very little money. I did have to spend some money on these batteries and a few other odds and end parts, things like some of the wiring and some of the connectors and so forth that I used, these switches over here, but uh, it, it works very well. Uh, this, these motors were originally designed to run on 24 volts, two 12 volt batteries in series with uh, about a way to reduce the voltage uh, through like a joystick like the original wheelchairs had um, it was it would run too fast so uh, unsafe hard to handle so what i did is i just wired the batteries in uh, parallel just to give me uh, 12 12 volts and that keeps it at a decent speed and uh, i like the way it operates now and uh, probably be a good idea to put a bumper switch on the back because it runs backwards just like it does frontwards. So that's pretty much it. Hope this is useful. And uh, if you if you decide to do this, I think you'll have fun with it. Thank you. Okay, I'd like to show you a demonstration of how this robot can maneuver. I've got these switches, standard household switches, hooked up to the uh, motor wiring, and I've got four motors. The left motor control the left wheels, the right motor control the right wheels. This is the main power switch. If you turn that on, go forward. It's because these switches are in a forward position. If I flip these switches down, it goes backwards. Now if I just flip this right switch to the right and go like that, it turns to the left. If I flip this switch that way, it goes forward. And if we flip both these down, it goes backwards. If this tank type steering enabled, if I turn both these forward and turn this one down that way, it'll turn to the right. You can see the left wheels are spinning forward, the right wheels are spinning backwards. Works pretty good actually. So let's move it forward a little bit. And we'll turn it backwards. So, works pretty good. That's it.